In this video, I'm going to go through this product called Go Hire. It's an applicant tracking system, an online recruiting software, and I'm going to take you through the onboarding, and I'm actually going to post a job. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is David Ferguson with TechSmart Boss here with another video. We're going to take a look at this product called Go Hire. GoHire.io. It's an applicant tracking system, an online recruiting software. We've covered a couple of them in the past. We've talked about Job Score and Vervo and uh, Proof. But I'm going to take a look at Go Hire because hiring is one of the most critical things about your business. What I like about this product from looking at their website is one it talks about employer branding it gives you an actual employee page it looks like you can put your logo it talks about custom domains so i always like that element to make your business look better it's got the posting the multiple job sites very important and and these are the free ones so that's great that you can just you know click a button and go out and post your job to those sites then it has a lot of tracking um so i, I like the tracking aspect of it and it takes a little bit further into the scheduling and into the hiring process and that's some of the the ones we looked at in the past other than job score kind of kept it uh more in the application side of the house this takes it a little bit further in the life cycle and of course from a pricing perspective they got a free plan which gives you one job slot unlimited users that's really nice for free and basically it looks like you just move up into the job slots as you go into the paid how many folks are you hiring at the same time so it looks like a pretty good product let's go ahead and click this get started for free button and go through their onboarding and take a look uh, through so it looks like I'm gonna get a 14 day free trial of maybe one of their paid plans to start with and it'll have me downgrade into that so I'm gonna go ahead and put in my techsmartboss.com and I'll put in the company name here and let's give it a password and sign up and see where that takes us so welcome got a little uh, pop-up onboarding here uh, do I want to explore or go I want to explore so you know me I like to just go right into the exploration let's go ahead and close down their auto chats here what I'm gonna do is pause this for a second go out to my email and verify my account so I can enable all the features so as I go around I don't have any problems so hold on one second okay so I have verified and now the banner has changed it tells me I've got 14 days of free trial remaining it wants me to book a product demo let's just click around and see what we see now right away on this first screen I can create my first job I can invite co-workers that's great um, on your team and I've mentioned that customizing the career page it takes you right there from the onboarding let's actually click on that and see what we can do with this so this uh this looks really nice I mean you can get yourself a a custom URL I, I love that uh, that's gonna be the website address to my page which I'm sure that my logo on their page will link to branding customer color let me go ahead and put my 005 actually 005 FAC I love that color blue there I can pop a logo a header image in there add some custom that's really nice that you can add a custom content section I'm just gonna put it like a little about us and some test data look at that that's nice I really like that I can put my social links in there and then this is an example of what that page is that's that's nice that's great looks like there's even a place where uh, people can kind of get a subscription notice if they if a new job gets posted so that's great for building up your uh, your engaged enthusiastic applicants there let's actually click this view page see where that takes us there yeah not bad at all it's got a little powered by here but that's no big deal um, at all so let's go back to the dashboard it looks like I, until I hit that let's go button I think it's gonna keep giving me that uh, let's uh, well before we create a job let's take a look around some other things first let's see what we can do under here under settings I can upload a profile picture standard stuff calendar it talked about on that website how you can schedule interviews 
So it looks like I can actually link in my various calendars and have that intelligently scheduled based on my availability. So, you know, we talk about Calendly a lot here, but it looks like this has a little bit of that capability uh, built in. I can get my company logo, company address, all that stuff there. Let's see what else might be interesting. What's these event types? So again, I, I talked about as part of a process, you might have calls, interviews, you might do screen shares, uh, exams, all sorts of things. So I can, looks like it, I can make a customized type of workflow here. Let's just go ahead and make a, uh, another event type there. Integrations, very important. Um, now these integrations tend to be tied to the different job boards. Most of them are enabled by default, so those are your free ones here. You can link your Facebook page, which is nice. I don't see LinkedIn, which I'm sure they're probably going to add, but LinkedIn would be a very popular one to put in there. And then website, looks like instead of your page, you could do a, um, you can actually embed their widgets, which, which is great as well. Uh, let's just click through a couple things here. Looks like the little setup wizard here. Create job, invite members, upload company logo, all the stuff we've seen. I really like that custom domain. That, that's a great feature that these guys are providing. Let's see what we can. Okay, that just takes me into settings. Okay, so let's go ahead and create that job. That's what we wanted to do there. Actually, you know, let's go back here for a second. And let's say let's go. Because it looks like, yeah, okay, so that's going to create that job. So that just takes me there. Let's create, because I kept seeing something pop up behind there. So team name, let's just call this my uh, customer success team. I actually have a little bit of a job description already copied over here in my paste bin. I love doing this type of stuff with paste bin. makes it really easy to copy and paste into something. Paste bin was our cool tech of the week in our newsletter. So if you're not on that just go out to newsletters.techsmartboss.com and you can learn more about that so let's see what fields i have about this position let's go ahead and copy the rest of this information that i pasted here you know it doesn't paste over the formatting which is nice when i come into here and now in their WYSIWYG what you see is what you get editor i can go in and add the stylings that I want, bring back in any hyperlinks, do all that kind of stuff. So this is pretty standard stuff. Looks like I can get into some code. I can do some embed, embedding of items, which is really nice. Um, job title, I actually copied that in there, but let's actually back this up a little bit and see if there's uh, anything there. I don't, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna stick with my title. I can put in a city. I'm just going to put in some information here just to get uh, get this moving. United States 20171. And I'm going to say I'm looking for somebody for free. That's always a good salary. I'm just kidding. Um, but let's say it's a part-time person. And I could add some screening questions. Very nice there. Text, single choice, and multiple choice. So that's very nice to have some things that you could probably use to help uh, route people appropriately. I'm going to go ahead and just continue. I didn't pretty up that as much as I could, but now I can go in and pick the ones that I want to send this out to. And since this is a test, I'm going to go ahead and disable all these so it won't take my tests and automatically send them out to job boards. I just want to actually just see it on my careers page. Let's create that, and there we go. All right, we have a job URL now that I could probably go to. I could share it on social media. You're welcome there. Let's go ahead and clear that out. And let's go ahead and let's paste this in here and see if that takes me to my job posting on my job page, or how do they do that? So here's the job we just created. Very nice. There's an Apply Now button now. Let's see how that works. Okay, so that's going to be a slide in where people can attach a resume and things like that. I didn't see where I can customize that as much other than adding in those pre-screen questions, which is nice. And here's the link to the job page. Let's view all the Okay, yep, it takes me right back there. And that's, hey, that's smooth. I did it in this video. Now you'll see I've got more of a view 
whereas my candidates come in this is the applicant tracking part of the system I can filter pretty quickly here I can add pipeline stages as I take them through and I can even import candidates from other places where I might be advertising maybe internal recommendations and references and things like that now it's waiting approved I'm gonna go ahead and delete that so they don't go ahead and approve that looks like it's gonna take 48 hours to get my job approved potentially but I'm gonna go ahead and delete that so I don't waste their time on that but this is a pretty cool feature risk robust system one of the best ones I like I like the interface I like that it's very easy and smooth and I really like that careers page with the custom domain and I like their price point I mean for starting out with just one job it's free you can't beat that and it's affordable as you grow and you're scaling your business so hopefully you like this video if you did subscribe to our YouTube channel leave a comment check out our Facebook page and also check out our website for more business tips and stay tuned for the next video